Hey everybody, welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall today. It's a beautiful Friday. I can tell the fall weather's on the way and I'm loving it. Hey, I got one today for you. I think you're really going to like. Mama used to make this gravy for me, for the family, all my life. It was one of my favorites, especially with her homemade biscuits. And you know, I scour so many recipes on the internet, trying to find some interesting ones, special ones, you know, to add in with the things that I know myself. And I was thinking the other night, I haven't even showed y'all this gravy yet that mama made all my life. So I mentioned it to my wife. I said, Lynn, what do you think? You think they would like that? And she said, absolutely, honey. I think they'll love this one. So today we're going to be trying that. Y'all stay tuned to this. This is so simple. But let me ask you one thing before we start. How many like red eye gravy? I know I do. I have it every once in a while. But let me ask the question. Why hasn't everybody been trying to make it with bacon too, instead of ham? You're missing out. Let me show you how to put this together today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. And it's all gonna start with frying up some good old bacon. I got six pieces here. What I'm looking for, I'm trying to get two tablespoons of dripping bacon. So if this makes more, we're going to be eating breakfast anyway. But for this recipe, you're going to need one tablespoon of bacon dripping per one cup of black coffee. Let's get this cooked. I got my heat on like a medium low. I'm trying to render this fat out of it. I'm not trying to cook it fast. Who don't like to hear the sound of bacon cooking? Especially in the great outdoors. Okay, our bacon is finishing. Check this out, everybody. When I'm cooking outside, I like to tilt my burner just a little bit. So when all the cooked bacon gets done, I'll push it up this way and I'll finish the rest of it in the bacon dripping. See that? Now what we have, I've got two cups of black coffee in my smaller pot here. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna get this on like a medium low flame itself. We're gonna add two tablespoons of this bacon dripping to it. So here's one of them going in. Here's number two. Now, like I say, this is one tablespoon of bacon dripping to one cup of black coffee. If you wanna get bold, Use three teaspoons instead of a tablespoon. You'll get that one in a minute. <laughs> now let's get this right here going on a medium low. Then we're gonna cut our tomato up. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you've never tried this, give it a try now. Don't knock it till you try it, especially when I put these tomatoes in it, because those tomatoes are gonna take on this flavor too, and you can eat them as a side in your dish. This right here is really, to me, this is a breakfast gravy. All right, when we get that going a little bit, let's put in about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and about a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm gonna chop up a red tomato. So right here's a pretty large one. Put as much tomato in it as you want. But I'm telling you, this tomato is gonna seep up that gravy and there's gonna be gravy left. This right here is a perfect side. Now right, let's get this boy chopped up. There's no certain way to do it. All right, there, see? Now let's put this in the coffee bacon drippings. All right, we're just gonna carefully drop it down in there. We're gonna let this right here come to a little simmer on medium heat, I turn it up to medium. We want these tomatoes to soften up a little bit. So I'm gonna simmer it around five minutes, y'all, and that is it. Now also, let me point to this. If you like your gravy, you know, this right here is like red eye consistency. If, you had, if you've ever had red eye gravy, this is the same consistency. But you can also thicken this gravy up, put about, mm, for two cups, I'd say about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of flour in it, and it'll thicken it up a little bit. But I like mine like this because I love sopping my biscuits in this. That's just the way I've done it all my life. But I have put flour in it too. It's just as good. How many of y'all eat ketchup on eggs like I do? I have all my life. So I love ketchup. You can add about, mm, I say two or three tablespoons of ketchup to this too. Okay, now that it's almost starting to simmer right there, everybody, I'm going to get this bacon right here. I'm going to crumble it up real good and I'm putting it in it. Now, if you choose not to put the bacon in it, you might want to put more like uh, two tablespoons per cup of coffee so you'll get that good bacon flavor because when you put these tomatoes in it, they're going to render out their water and it'll make it bland if you don't. All right, there it is. All right, we're going to stir this around on simmer, probably be around five more minutes. It'll be done. Okay, it's done everybody. Through the years, I've tweaked this recipe myself. The basic recipe is this. One tablespoon of drippings per cup. 
unless you're not putting the bacon in at the end. If you don't put the bacon in at the end, you're gonna need two tablespoons of drippings per cup of black coffee. But I always chose to put some bacon in there too. You know, why not? It's so good. I know you can't see that good. Let me get the camera down on here so you can see it right quick. This is a perfect breakfast gravy, everybody. But like I say, these tomatoes with that bacon like that, oh my Lord, it's so good on the side for breakfast too. Can certainly be used for that, but look at this. That is some good stuff. Okay, let's try it, y'all. Look at that. That is some good stuff, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's fantastic. It might not be for everybody, but I'm telling you, think about it. If you can make red-eye gravy with just ham and coffee, why ain't everybody talking about bacon and coffee? It goes right hand in hand, especially with these tomatoes. I know a lot of you are like me. If a movie comes out at the theater and a novel comes out of the movie, I like seeing the movie. I don't like reading the book about it. And I think that's the reason these videos online of cooking are real popular. Because even me, I like going on the internet, especially YouTube, checking out all these cooking videos and everything. I like seeing the movie instead of reading the recipe book. So thank you for watching me today on Country Boy Cooking with Marsha Hart. Jesus is always Lord.